Hello, hello! Today's video is going to be a product side hit pan on video. I love watching these videos. They are so much fun to watch. I love seeing pan. It's very satisfying to see. I do this style of video about every three to five months, kind of depending, and I do have a whole products I've hit pan on playlist. A lot of these are in my project pans though, so if you've seen my project pans, you've probably seen a lot of these items. I'll link my project pan playlist as well. I am doing a pan that palette. I'm not gonna show you my pan that palette in this video, but you can find that as well. This is not everything with pan in my collection. I have a lot more than that, but these are kind of more recent pans, things I've hit pan on more recently, or things that I've been expanding the pan on, so yeah, I just think these are a whole lot of fun to watch and let's just get started. The first item is my Hourglass Ghost Palette and this is in my year-long project pan, finished 10 in 2020. So if you saw that, you've probably seen this. I have pan on dim light and diffused light. I really do love this palette and I did recently buy the new Sculpture Palette. I told myself I was not allowed to buy another Hourglass palette unless I had hit pan on this one, which obviously I have, therefore I did buy that one. But I don't know that I need to keep buying these year after year. I now do have the two, but yeah, the two shades, dim light and diffuse light that I've hit pan on, those are in the new palette, which is okay for me because I do hope to finish these eventually. So I don't mind having backups of them. Obviously they're my favorite shades in here. And I love the Hourglass formula, but yeah, I don't feel the need to keep buying those palettes year after year, but I'm happy that I'm getting my money's worth because that palette is $80, very, very expensive. All right, next up is this Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. This took a very, very long time to hit pan on. If you've been watching my project pans, this was actually in a project pan last year. I used this matte shade in my crease almost every day for three months and I did not hit pan. And then I did recently put this in another project. This was in my Finish 8 by Halloween and I finally did hit pan on this. Natasha Denona has a very tightly pressed formula. That is a huge thing though, is different formulas. Obviously you're gonna hit pan faster on some over others. Anastasia, Lorac, those are very, very powdery, whereas Natasha Denona, Too Faced, and some others are very tightly pressed and they take much longer to hit pan. I'm very happy I hit pan on this though. This was the first ever Natasha Denona palette that I purchased and I have purchased more since then and there is another one in this video. The next item is, um, this is in my Fall For You project pan. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Another pricey little number here, so I'm really happy that I'm using it. I obviously have pan on the highlighter. I don't have any pan on this bronzer slash contour shade, but I'm trying to expand the pan on this in that project. I love this highlighter. It's so beautiful, very finely milled. I love this. This is one of the more expensive items that I have in my collection. It is $68. I did get it for 20% off though, but it's still a lot for this, but I do truly enjoy it and I'm really happy that I'm using it. The next two items are things that I am trying to completely finish and that is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. I use this as an all over face setting powder. This is also in my Fall For You project pan and I really do wanna finish this powder. I really like it. It's a bit luminous, but it actually makes my foundation last longer, which is very weird, but it does, it works. This is super cheap, but I really enjoy this. However, I do wanna finish it. I do feel like my powder collection has increased lately and I don't need as many as I have. Therefore, I really do wanna complete that one. The next one, this is also in my Finish 10 in 2020, and that is this Wet n Wild blush. Oh, both are Wet n Wild, okay. This is Pearlescent Pink, and I have a ton of pan on this. I really do wanna finish this. I mean, I'm definitely making progress, but it's a pretty pigmented blush. Um, I don't need a lot of this, that's for sure. It's a gorgeous color though. It's kind of like a pinky peachy coral shade. And yes, I am so happy about the progress on this. I'm still gonna work on it and hopefully I can finish that one too. Next up is another Natasha Denona palette. Um, if you saw my pie project pan, you saw this. I finally hit pan on the Metropolis on this copper shade right there. If you can see that, this took a very long time. This palette is very tightly pressed, similar to the Mini Nude. 
you know, these are not very powdery. They're really packed in there. It takes a lot of use to hit pan on Natasha Denona, but I'm really happy that I did it. I'm happy I have pan on two of my Natasha palettes. That's pretty exciting. This is still the most expensive makeup product I've ever purchased. I got it full price at $129, which is a whole lot of money, but I am using it, which makes me happy. And I have used the other shades a lot as well. Obviously, I don't have other pans, but I do have some other dips happening in this palette. I would love to hit pan on more of these shades at some point, but yes, this took quite a while, and Natasha Denona is not easy to hit pan on. I've seen people hit pan on a lot of her palettes, though. It's really fun to see. And side note, I have seen some people hit pan on those large Pat McGrath palettes, and that is pretty amazing. Those look like they take forever to hit pan on. I do have one of the Mothership palettes, and yeah, I'd love to hit pan on that at some point, but I feel like that would take years and years of use. So I haven't tried it yet, but yes, props to people who have hit pan on those Pat McGrath palettes. All right, two palettes left. This is one of my older palettes. This is the Makeup Geek in the Nude palette, and I have pan on Grandstand here. I love this. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows of all time, and I do have the new version of Grandstand in her new foiled eyeshadows, the one in the square pans, and the color is completely identical, and the formula is the same, although I will say that this was a bit crumbly, so this did not take as long to pan on as I anticipated, because when I touch my brush into this eyeshadow, it does crumble a little bit. I don't know if that's because it's an older eyeshadow. Um, I've had this palette for a few years, so who knows, but I love this eyeshadow. It still performs very, very well. And yes, I love this and I love the Makeup Geek formula. It is one of my favorite formulas for sure. Alrighty, last up is this Zoeva palette. This is the Spice of Life. And I have pan on this cream shade here. Not super exciting. This is something that I use to set my eyeshadow primer and also as a brow bone highlight. Um, you know, that's something that I do on an everyday basis. And yes, I will say this was a powdery formula. This did not take as long to pan as I thought that it might. And also the pan is not really that deep. So FYI, if you're gonna try to hit pan on Zoeva, it doesn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, but yeah, this is a great basic shade. I mean, again, this is something I use on an everyday basis. So I have a few other, you know, cream type shades that I've hit pan on just from, you know, the exact same thing. I have not used the rest of the palette that much. Honestly, Zoeva, it's not my favorite formula. The mattes are pretty good, but I feel like the shimmers, they are not as foiled and metallic as I would like. They're more, you know, shimmers, not metallic shades. This is a pretty palette though. I do want to get more use out of it, but yeah. I don't think I would get more Zoeva palettes just because it's not my favorite formula. That is it for this products I've hit pan on video. Like I said, I really love watching these and I love seeing pan on Instagram. It is a whole lot of fun. So if you're interested, I will link my project pan playlist, my pan that palette and my products I've hit pan on playlist in the description box. Let us know what have you hit pan on lately. I'm very curious to hear. That is it. Thank you so much for watching.